Hi everybody, welcome back to HD Piano, this is Joe with a new one, Ricky Don't Lose That Number by Steely Dan, another one of theirs. This is the intro and the first verse, here we go, two, three, four. Okay, there we have the first video. So, quite unlike anything I've ever played to you guys, this lot are very, very, very sort of avant-garde, I suppose. They've got a lot of interesting harmonies in their music. Often sounds discordant. They're very much sort of like jazz influenced. This is middle C, by the way. We're playing in the key of A major today. We've got three sharps to look out for, F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Quick question for you, who's Ricky? Whose number? Should Ricky not lose? Two questions, really. Who's Ricky? And what's the number? Does it belong to someone? What is the number? Anyway. We start with this very Latin-infused bass line, which we sort of stick quite rig rigidly to in terms of the rhythm. Almost the whole way through, actually. It's always useful. And you listen to the track, it's exactly what it does. What is that? Basically a fifth of E are the notes we're doing for now. It does change, but for the intro, these first six bars this is exactly what it does. You go one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, like that. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's it. We do that for six bars. Proper speed, like. Like that. Two, three, then we bring in our thirds, our descending melodic thirds, which are not always descending, they sometimes ascend too. And they go one and two, three, four, one and two. That's the first two bars. So important that you use the fingers five and three on D and F sharp. One and two, three and then four. I'll do that again. That's those first two bars of right hand, which actually come in on bars three and four of the piece. So you've got an intro like this. Now half the speed. You get the idea? speed so you've just done that twice is in just those two bars and then you go so that really is Ricky don't lose your number lose that number not yours losing your own number dearie me Ricky don't lose that number. Again. Again. Last time. Then we go into the the verse where the left hand sort of does a slightly different pattern for the first three bars that's our pattern one two and three four and then to a two and three four and then to e 
two and three, four. So D, then A, then E. And it's nice that the left hand is so sort of clear in its harmony, they're all root notes, because in the right hand, we stick very rigidly to that. So our first instance of right hand in the verse is a, glis not glissando, sorry, a grace note E on finger two to a root position D with one, three, and five. Otherwise played like that. You just want to sort of sound a little nudge of it, not really, boo down. you can do that if you want, but it's more, it graces it as opposed to actually is part of it in its own sense. That's the first bar. So you do the first chord on beat one with the grace note using three notes in the chord and then beat four, only two notes in the chord and the bass note goes to D goes like that. Let's move on this time. And now this one, some of you might find that a bit of a stretch. That's the first position A major with two, three and five and your one needs to play the grace note on B which of course is the ninth note in A. One, two, three, and then double up that first inversion A. Again, two, three, double up the first inversion A. One more time, two, three, four, and then to E second position. Two, three, four, E, and uh, I'm not gonna count that, I just counted it wrong, but it sounded right. So that is E second position on beat number one of that third bar. And then on beat four, we play three triplet semiquavers on the first half of beat four, and on the last half of beat four, beat four and, we play a B. So one, two, three, four, and. Actually, it should be faster than that, isn't it? It's one, two, three, like that. There we go. Two, three, four, and. One, two, three, four, and. That's it. Two, three, four, and. So let's go back to the start. D, A, E, like that. And then we go into this, which is this. Let's do one hand at a time, left hand first. One, two, and three, four, and swap. That finger two needs to swap to finger one during that held one, two, and three, four, and swap. Two and three, because that enables you to get down easily to this root five root on D. So one, two and three, four and swap, two and three, four. Again, one, two and three and four and swap, like that. Let's do it the proper speed. One, two, three, again. One more time. the right hand which rhythm wise is this one two and three and four and one and two and three and again one and two sorry one and two and three and four and one and Do that a couple more times. Last time, prop speed. Three, four. Next bar is this. Much easier. Actually, not much easier. This is a tricky bar. Like that. One. Let's do the right hand first. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four, one and two, three, four. So if you look at that, we're playing a sort of cluster of notes like that. Call that A sus two if you want, or A second. And then that's the first three cluster of notes I showed you before, we just play as a chord on beat four. One, two, three, four. On the left hand, one, two, three, four, 
like that. And that finger two is really useful there. One, two, three, four. When I was practicing, I couldn't help but bring this one in this, there. I couldn't help but do that. Don't do that. That's it. That's it. Last time. So that bar, let's do it together because the left hand is quite easy. It's just E and octaves of E. So we go one and two and three and four. Again, one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Last time, proper speed. Then this, like that. This is C sharp major on beat one, beat one of that bar. C sharp major root position. One, two, three, four, and one. The C sharp major, and then beat three. The C sharp drops to a B, and you play a C sharp and F sharp here, which is like B sus two. One, so one, two, three. Four and one. Again, right hand just goes like this. A bit of a jump down to that sixth. But other than that, it's fairly straightforward. Again, one, two, three, four and one. Quite a bit of speed up a bit. One, two, three, four and moving on now. Two and three and four. And so six, two, and three, and four. Keep the hamstrings stretched in the right hand. Two, three, four. Last time. One, two, three, four. Now this bar. A major. Root position. Try eight arpeggios. Just like that. One, two, three, four. Moving on now. And then. Do those two bars together. All about E. Just playing lots of triadic notes of E in that first bar. And then quite a few in the second bar as well. So loads of triads here. There's slightly fewer here. Last time. One and two and three. This bar, but it's a great chord. Just see that that last time going to proper speed. So we've got a F sharp minor seven add four. There's the fourth note. This is like F sharp minor eleven or F sharp eleven. Okay, because you've got F sharp third, fourth, and seventh. When the third and seventh are present, and you play the fourth note, you can see it to be eleven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Same as four. Okay, so that's what we're doing there. And that's one, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Again, one, two, and three. And then this, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four, last time. Then this one. That's my most familiar bar of the whole song. It shows itself up over and over again. And if that's not discordant, I don't know what it is. Anyway, that's it. That's your lot. We hear that again? Yeah. Here we go. One, two, three, four.
There we are. Almost feels like it's had a break after that, but it doesn't, just goes. Into the chorus, which is our next video. Anyhow, if you like that, there's plenty more where that came from, parts that is to Ricky Don't Lose That Number, on the website, hdpiano.com, head on over there. Also, if you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. See you on the next video, which will be the chorus. This has been Joe, HD Piano. Bye for now.